was early morning in the top left hand corner of Wales. Joan's steam had come down over the hill, jumped the little stream, and brought Ivor out into the sunshine. Ivor was confused. It was a long time until they had any work to do, but it all soon became clear. Come now, Ivor, it's time you had a repaint. <coughs> now I know you don't like being repainted because it takes a long time. Little engines can become very bored very quickly now, can't they? <coughs> yes, well, nevertheless, we can't have the engine of the Marioneth and Lanticilly Rail Traction Company Limited looking grubby now, can we? What would Mr. Williams, the head office, say? Now, the sooner we get started, the sooner we can finish and be off on our way. <coughs> oh, that's quite enough of that, Ivor, the engine. Hold still, or I'll have you painted a different colour. I'm sure bright pink would work a treat. Now, what do you say to that? Ho, 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 as I thought. Now, this will only take a minute. So Jones' steam set to work painting Ivo from top to bottom, in his favourite colour of rich green. He polished his brass, wiped his windows, and soon little Ivo shone like the sun. Ah, there you are, you see. That wasn't worth the fuss now, was it? Now you're the smartest little engine in the whole valley, and all of Wales as well, I'd say. <laughs> Just then, died the station walked over, looking miserable as usual. Morning, Jones. Morning, Ivor. Morning, Di. Doesn't he look smart? Oh, quite tidy, if I dare say, but a clean engine isn't useful just sitting around. There are plenty of jobs to do and regulations to follow, like. Don't worry yourself, Di Bach. We're all ready to go now, aren't we, Ivo? That's fine, then, I suppose. Now, this call for grumbly gas works, a fancy-looking parcel for Professor Longfellow, and a... Uh, oh! Oh, there's some new boots that need to be delivered to Mr. Dimwitty. <laughs> All right, Di. You can tell us about it on the way. Jump on. I'll give you a lift back to Laniog. Come along, Ivor. Shh! So Jones and Steam and Ivor worked hard all throughout the valley, getting their jobs done as usual. They delivered the fancy-looking parcel to Professor Longfellow and dropped off Mr. Dimwitty the gold miner's new boots. Oh, thank you, Jones! Then they took a truck full of coal to Grumdy Gasworks and poured it onto the coal heap. Oh, I say, Ivor, after today's work, you're already looking a little grubby again. Maybe we ought to get the paintbrush out again tomorrow and. <laughs> oh, 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 you'll bruise my nose one of these days, Ivor. I was only joking. I might be grumpier than usual if we stopped to get you polished up again. Come along now, the Coral Society will be waiting for us. <laughs> 